Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Now today we're going to be taking a look at sort of a uh, like follow-up video to uh, an older video that I did um, about getting Windows 7 games inside of Windows 8. And there's been a lot of people that have been apparently having problems uh, with getting that method to work. And well today I found uh, a much easier method of uh, getting these games to work in both Windows 8 Windows 8.1 and even the Windows 10 uh, technical preview which I am going to be using in this video and this is a much easier method you don't have to uh, copy any files over from Windows 7 you just have to uh, download uh, one uh, one install file and you just uh, run it install it and then you basically get all of the same games that you did um, in the old video as well as uh, some newer games that weren't even uh, like available to copy over uh, to Windows 8 in that old video but alright so just like always I'm going to have all the links you need down below in the video description um, and there's actually uh, two different files that you can get now I'm going to be using both of them in this video one of them is going to have all of the games uh, from Windows 7 and uh, this other install files is going to have the games from Windows Vista that were not uh, brought into Windows 7 by Microsoft. So if you want to get all of the old games uh, from both Windows Vista and Windows 7, uh, you can do that with uh, these two files. So, um, so yeah, the first thing that you're going to want to do is obviously go and uh, just download, uh, you know, whichever files that you want, and um, start up uh, whatever uh, computer that you're going to be using this on. And so I'm going to start with uh, the Windows 7 games for Windows 8, and this works on both 32 uh, and 64 bit uh, editions of Windows. So I'm just going to open this up here, and then I'm going to click on the extract button up here at the top, and then click on extract all. Now, if you're using uh, something like uh, WinRAR or 7zip, you probably won't uh, see this option at all. It will probably just open inside of 7zip or uh, WinRAR, but uh, this is the uh, standard Windows extractor and you just want to uh, click on the extract button down here and it's going to copy all those files uh, over to uh, an uncompressed folder and uh, once it finishes doing that it's going to, uh, to pop up with a new folder in it that has uh, just these three files one of them is info languages and then the actual exe file so uh, first what I want to do is uh, open up info uh, to show you uh, how this is going to work because this basically gives a like a whole guide on how uh, to install this but let me just change the font here so it says uh, Windows 7 games for Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 now like I mentioned this also works uh, in the Windows 10 technical preview which is what that I'm using here as you can probably notice by this down here um, but it says uh, that this installer contains all of the Microsoft games that came with Windows 7 OS restrictions removed to allow the games to run in Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 and like I mentioned Windows 10. Uh, it's also very simple you can actually uh, just uh, pick which games that you want so if you uh, like only want uh, to get Chess Titans for example uh, you don't have to get any of the other games you can uh, just get Chess Titans if you want. Uh, and it also comes uh, in 35 languages which I don't think that uh, the old method even like allowed you uh, to change languages but uh, now you can and if you want to uh, do it uh, from the uh, Windows command prompt you can do it here but it's much easier just to like actually open uh, the file and here's all the, these file names and uh, like the MD5 hash and all that but anyway so that's that's basically that uh, under uh, languages this shows every single language that uh, it works with like I mentioned it works with uh, 35 languages uh, and this is uh, just a whole list of them here. So now let's actually run uh, the Win7 game for Win8 setup.exe and um, this has not been uh, flagged by uh, Windows Defender uh, like the old uh, patch was in the old video and I think that most of you didn't want uh, to use that patch because you thought it was a virus even though that like uh, the forum said it wasn't. Um, and I kind of understand that because I know that you know people don't don't really want to like install things that are flagged as malware. But this is not flagged, uh, at least uh, by Windows Defender. Um, and anyway, like I said, it's uh, a 
pretty simple looking installer you just uh, choose whatever language that you want here again you can choose uh, from those 35 languages and then uh, just click on OK and here it is it says welcome to the Windows 7 games for Windows 8 setup and uh, you just want to uh, you know obviously uh, click on next here and here is where you can uh, choose which games that you want and which games that you don't want now I'm going to be uh, installing all of them but if you only uh, wanted solitaire for example you could just uncheck all of these except uh, for solitaire and you would uh, just get solitaire but I'm just uh, going to install all the games and you also have uh, the internet games such as uh, internet backgammon checkers and spades which I don't even think worked in the old video either uh, and you can also have options to create uh, start menu shortcuts create shortcuts in the games explorer and add games to the media center extras library now again I'm just going to leave this all checked but if you didn't want these for example you could obviously just uncheck them but anyway uh, once you have all of your preferences selected here just uh, click on next and then click on install I wouldn't uh, recommend changing this folder mainly because I think that they have to be installed uh, in the C program files of Microsoft games directory uh, to work properly but if you wanted to uh, try to change it I'm sure you could um, anyway uh, you just wanna click on install and it's going to begin uh, installing all the files to uh, that one directory and like I mentioned uh, there is no patch needed you don't have to go down and download a separate patch for this the files will already work uh, with Windows 8 Windows 8.1 or the uh, Windows 10 technical preview uh, so it has uh, just finished up here we're just going to click on the next button and then finish now also these are all of the people uh, that helped making this so um, this uh, you know I want to thank them uh, for you know being able to put all this together um, and yeah uh, we just want to uh, click on finish and now all you have to do is go down uh, to either your uh, Windows 8 start screen or if you're using uh, Windows 10 your uh, new Windows 10 start menu and you'll notice that you have uh, a new folder called games and in, in, in here you have all of uh, the old Windows 7 games that are now running on uh, whatever OS that you put this on so I'm just going to run solitaire here and I can show you that this works uh, here it is for example uh, and like this uh, sound works and everything uh, you have like basically it's the entire application just ported over uh, to a newer operating system and yeah it works uh, exactly as you would expect it to on Windows 7 uh, you can you know play solitaire just like you would uh, you can go into game options and change all of the options that you had before it's basically the exact same game uh, just running on Windows 8 and you can also go uh, to help and about and you can actually see that it actually figures out that it's running on uh, Windows 8 or the, the Windows 10 technical preview which is kind of interesting uh, as these games were not really ever uh, made uh, for Windows 8 or Windows 10 uh, but, uh, I'm just going uh, to click on OK and then close this out and we can save or don't save I'm just gonna click on don't save and yeah you know if you wanted to all these games are in here uh, I'll launch Minesweeper just to show you you know if you have ever played Minesweeper it also works we'll just do the beginner option and again uh, the sound works perfectly fine you also get uh, your how to play tips which you can turn off in options you might just want to do that right now because those, uh, those get kind of annoying and you can of course uh, change the size of the window just like this if you wanted to and just, uh, just like Minesweeper as I just and I'm really bad at Minesweeper as you can probably tell but yeah um, yeah that's it and again all the sounds work as you would expect them to but that is just uh, the older Windows 7 games if you wanted uh, to get uh, the three Windows Vista games that were not brought over even in the Windows 7 there's also uh, a same installer I believe uh, by the same group of people that allows you uh, to do that and I'm also going to have that link down below and it's the same thing, uh, it's this one zip file here and you just want to uh, again open it up with either uh, the Windows Explorer Extractor or uh, like a, another archiver program such as uh, 7-Zip or WinRAR and then you want to uh, click on the extract button up here and then extract all 
and uh, show extracted files when complete. I think that's uh, auto check by default. And then uh, just click on extract. And it's going to, to do the same thing that, that it did before. It's going to copy these older uh, games over to the uh, over to a new uncompressed folder. I'm just going to get rid of all these windows right here. And again, we have the same options that we did before. I mean, not, not the same options, but the same uh, three files that we did before. Uh, under info, you can, you can uh, go in here and see uh, these games are called Hold'em, Inkball, and Tinker which are the Microsoft games that came with, with Windows Vista and this also even works with Windows 7 which I found uh, kind of interesting this has been tested working uh, with Windows 7, 8 and 8.1 and I have tested it as I mentioned on the Windows 10 technical preview and it works uh, so if you are are just using Windows 7 and you want to get the older Windows Vista games uh, on Windows 7 you can do that as well um, and again it comes uh, in the same 35 languages however I believe one of them here yeah uh, the one game Hold'em is uh, not available in Arabic Hebrew Korean traditional Chinese or simplified Chinese um, and again you have uh, these same games uh, that are that, that, that I've mentioned and it basically tells you how to do the same install process even from the Windows command prompt here and it tells you the same thing, uh, the, uh, the, the same 35 languages and uh, the MD5 hash and all that. Uh, and again, under languages, it's the same 35 languages that work. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going uh, to run the Hold'em Inkball Tinker setup. And just want to uh, click on yes if you get any user account control dialog boxes like before. And then you just want to select whatever language, just like before, again, it works in all of those 35 languages. And now it says, welcome to the Hold'em, Inkball, and Tinker Microsoft Games setup. So uh, just click on next. And you can once again choose uh, from whatever options that you wanted. So for example, if you only uh, wanted the game Inkball, you can uh, unselect every other option uh, except for that one game. But I'm just going to leave all of these working and then I'm going, just going to, uh, to click on next here. And then click on the install button and again it's going and now this is a, a much faster install process as it only has to install uh, those three games rather than uh, all of the windows 7 games um, actually it's kind of taking a little bit longer because it has a, a lot of uncompressed wave files that it just uh, extracted up here or sorry uh, wma files it's got to uh, extract all those but anyway yeah, now it says that it's been completed so we're just going to let's click on next and then finish and now you have to go back uh, to either your windows 8 start screen or your uh, windows 10 uh, technical preview uh, start menu and you see that uh, you like already put one of the games here uh, but again this is that it's actually going to be in the same folder um, that it installed uh, the windows 7 games to um, and it's again I'm just going out to run Inkball now this was a game that was on uh, Windows Vista but it was not even brought over to, uh, to Windows 7 and yeah you can do the same you know thing here if you've uh, like ever played this game it's uh, kind of interesting you just have to uh, get these uh, ink balls into these you know goals up here and you have to use ink I guess I guess that's why they call it ink ball um, and it gets uh, you know pretty challenging after a while um, but yeah, that's that's basically that. Again, you can change uh, whatever difficulty you want uh, from these five options here. And uh, under games, uh, or, or sorry, under game, um, you can uh, choose to start a new game or pause. You know, it's basically like I've mentioned before. It's the same exact application, just running on a newer version of Windows. And again, if you go uh, to help about. You can see that it finds out that's running on uh, Windows 8 or sorry Windows 10, which I mentioned is you know pretty cool that it actually knows that it's running on this even though it wasn't really rec I mean it wasn't really made for this. Um, then you just want to uh, click on OK and then you can uh, close out of that. And we can even go let's go in here. Uh, let's run uh, this Hold'em game. This was not brought over to Windows 7 for whatever reason. And yeah, if you've ever played this game on Windows Vista, like I mentioned, it's the same same game. 
uh, you can you know pin it uh, to your Windows taskbar here if you wanted to like if you you know you used to play this game a lot and you want to play it more uh, you can you know pin it here to get easy access to it and of course it runs perfectly fine I will just unpin that here and and go into games um, yeah all these games I've I've tested all these games and they work perfectly fine um, but also uh, one more thing is if you don't really want uh, to keep these games on your computer um, there's actually uh, an, un an uninstall file that is created so if you want to go uh, into the uh, Windows file Explorer and it's, it's uh, under C program files and there's uh, this Microsoft games folder that it made and in here you have uh, all of the games files as well as two uninstall files or just one if you only uh, installed one of uh, these setup packages and you can uh, uninstall all these games if you don't want them anymore and I believe you might even have have options uh, to uninstall certain games however I, I haven't seen that yet I will just click next and yes yeah, so it's only one option uh, so if you, you know, suddenly realize you don't want all these games on your computer uh, just with one uninstall file, you can uh, just get rid of all of them, which is uh, also pretty convenient. Um, but yeah, guys, I think that's about going uh, to just wrap it up for this video. Uh, I would also like to thank you guys as my uh, original uh, Windows games and Windows 8 video has just uh, accumulated over 20,000 views, which kind of shows me that you guys really care uh, about getting these older games to run. Uh, in a, a newer version of Windows, so that's why that I kind of made this video, um, just to you know kind of help out you guys that have been having problems uh, getting those older games to work. And uh, yeah, guys, again, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video's content and would like to see more videos like this, definitely be sure to like and subscribe. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video.